Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves, so he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. I truly love the opening story we hear from Mark today, because it highlights the importance of the faith of those around us, and how that has great significance for healing and growth. The words, when Jesus saw their faith, captures it all. This earthly pilgrimage that we are all on is something that is not undertaken alone and in solitude. It is a joint effort that the more we share our faith with one another, the stronger it becomes. Like the paralytic, we are all susceptible to our faith undergoing paralysis through various trials in our lives. And it is likely that we will remain in that state if we continue to alienate and cut ourselves off from the community of faith. Especially during this time of pandemic, participating in digital prayer meets, Bible study, mass streams, etc. may seem a bit limiting, which is certainly true when it comes to being able to worship together in person. But one would be surprised how the Holy Spirit works despite whatever predicament we find ourselves in. I have participated in multiple remote Bible study and faith sharing video calls. And one upside that I didn't realize before is being able to simultaneously connect with people all over the world. I can't help but be reminded of these encounters being like a digital Pentecost unfolding through cyberspace. So as we continue to undergo the frustrations and restrictions that this pandemic is presenting, let us not be deterred, have courage and be inspired to come up with creative ways to share the life-giving and healing power of our faith. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and faith-filled day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.